Police in hazmat suits in this Chinese city struggle to contain citizens daring to break out of lockdown. But in bigger cities like Shanghai and Beijing, a heavy presence seems to be curbing demonstrations, with reports police are tracking down protesters for statements. The government blamed local officials for being overzealous in implementing zero-COVID policies. Now it's easing some COVID restrictions, though no mention of the protests. The unrest across China has sparked gatherings around the world in solidarity including at China's consulate in Toronto. Our comrades back there in China mainland, they are risking much, much more than we are here. Some who protested over the weekend are afraid to have their identity revealed. Why come out and speak out about it, um, even though there is a bit of that fear still? I was empowered by those um, brave people, brave citizens um, that are protesting in China now. They want to send a message of their own. There is a pandemic going on in China, but it is not COVID-19 pandemic. It is a disease of a bureaucracy that, that's built in, in this institution. People are uh, growing increasingly impatient. That impatience, as COVID continues to spread, raises pressure on the Chinese government to find a solution. How to quickly get more vulnerable people vaccinated and protected and then um, lift the restrictions. Um, that is really what the government need to think about. China has announced it's speeding up vaccinations for the elderly and launching a campaign to fight vaccine hesitancy. It's not clear if that's enough to quell the anger that's been simmering for years. Lisa Shing, CBC News, Toronto.